Hey, are you thinking about moving from California to Texas? If so, this is the video for you. I'm going to be sharing with you the cost of living. Guys, the real numbers like bread, eggs, gas, and housing, of course, because I'm a real estate agent in Dallas, Fort Worth. Let me know if you need help finding a home here by emailing me in the link below. Also, any of your questions, maybe about Texas or the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. I'm so happy to respond to each and every email. All right, so the first thing I want to go over are groceries. Some of the staples, you know, like bread, milk, eggs, and keep in mind, you may or may not buy these brands and it's okay. I just want to keep it to an apples to apples comparison. What I did is I went to Kroger.com and I went, I entered in as if I was going to shop for these items to check out, you know, like pick up. Um, and then lo and behold, I found a Ralph's, which is the same company. At least I think it's the same company, same website, same everything, same brands um, over in California. So that's what I'm comparing is Kroger in Texas and Ralph's in California. So let's start off with eggs. I'm using Eglin's Best Grade A Eggs for comparison's sake. In Texas at Kroger, it is $2.69 for a dozen. And in California, it's $3.99 for a dozen. Now keep in mind, you can buy the store brand and both are Kroger brand. And so here for grade A, eggs, a dozen. Kroger brands only 99 cents. I'm not buying them. <laughs> and the Kroger brand in California was $2.99, guys. I couldn't believe the difference. And so we can get eggs pretty dang cheap here for a dozen. All right, so let's talk about milk. And this is vitamin D milk, whole milk. In Texas, it's $2.49 for a gallon. And in California, it's three dollars and nine cents. Again, you can go to Aldi and get it much cheaper. I think it's like a dollar forty-nine at Aldi, and I know you have Aldi there in California as well. Um, but there you have it for milk. Cheerios here, it's two dollars and forty-nine cents for a box of Cheerios, and it's the same price in California, two dollars and forty-nine cents. So there are a few items or brands that you could get for the same price. Okay, now this was interesting. So Motrin ibuprofen tablets for a hundred count, the same packaging and everything. Here in Texas, it's nine dollars and seventy nine cents, and in California, it's fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. It's like, say what? Over five dollars more for the same Motrin ibuprofen. And um, you can also get the off brand for two seventy nine here. Here's off brand. And then the last thing for on the grocery list is bread, which is nature's own honey wheat sliced bread. Again, you may or may not eat this, but here it's $2.99 for the same exact brand. In California, it's $3.79. So think about maybe, you know, it's only 80 cents here or a dollar here or $5 there. And maybe it's a wash on something like Cheerios. But if you Fill up your grocery basket, I would have to venture to guess it could easily be a hundred dollars difference per visit. All right, so let's move on. The next thing I was curious about um, are movie tickets. How much does it cost to go see a movie here? Well, here it's twelve dollars and eleven cents for one adult non-discounted ticket, and in California it's fifteen dollars and seventy cents. It's expensive to watch a movie. Let's talk about gas, guys. So in Texas, a gas station near me at a 7-Eleven, it's $2.27 a gallon. And in California at a 7-Eleven, it's $3.75 a gallon. Oh my gosh. I mean, we did have a time period a few years ago where it went up to like $4 a gallon, but that was like, oh my gosh, we are dying here. <laughs> But uh, the lowest in California in that area I found was $3.27 at Costco. So even that, guys, it's a dollar difference per gallon of gas. So for me to fill up 20 gallons in my car, it costs about $45. For me to say, fill up the same 25, uh, 20 gallons, it's $65. 
And then I started thinking, what about electric? What about utility bills? And so it is interesting, California versus Texas, because even though in Texas, our per kilowatt hour is lower, I would venture to guess that California bills are still lower as far as electricity because of the weather. It's 0 0.1098 per kilowatt hour. And in California, it's 0 0.1699 per kilowatt hour. So it is a lot more expensive per kilowatt hour in California. However, my guess is you don't have to run the AC to the degree that we do here in Texas. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is housing. You know, California compared to Texas. Now, I know that pricing varies depending on where you live, how close you are to the city, um, but I'm just going to pull up San Diego because I have several people moving from San Diego to Texas. And I wanna compare what a five to $600,000 home looks like there compared to in my area. So first off, when I'm looking through here, what I notice is the square footage and the price, but there are some really cute houses for under 600,000. But at first glance, I mean, I'm like 1,032 square feet. That is ridiculous <laughs> for $525,000. Now this is really cute. This is 2,300 square feet at 590. Again, I don't know the hot spots for you guys, but I'm gonna click on this 590,000. That kitchen is really pretty. Nice floor. Oh guys, this is a little house. I mean, I know it says like, 2,000 some square feet. It looks like they flipped this house just with the new appliances. So this is what you can get. It's pretty cute though, guys. Oh, there's no backyard. Oh, but, oh, but you guys have views. We don't have this kind of view, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's pretty cool, I'm just saying. Let's look at what you can get for five to six hundred thousand dollars in North Fort Worth. This is in a very nice area of Fort Worth. Good schools. See, I know all the details about Dallas Fort Worth. So here we are, like we're up here up north, and again, five to six hundred thousand dollar homes. And let's click on this one. This one's really cute. Oh, this is a this is in my zip code. So let let's just let's just see the difference. <laughs> $579,000. Look at that kitchen. Oh my gosh. Okay, there you go. $579,000 for this house. Okay. In great schools. It's beautiful. I love the chandelier. That kitchen is just really nice. I can say in Fort Worth, we do have um, very traditional style homes. Uh, many there's a lot of flair to them okay as you can tell the detailed work here here you go we also have a lot of stone fireplaces you'll see a lot of those high ceilings in the living rooms crown molding in the master you're gonna see a lot of that garden tub oh yeah you'll also okay look at those pretty that pretty staircase but I'm gonna go back so there are many homes you'll have you know your four bedroom three bath game room up though put in a little mini kitchen. This is very common for this price point. Okay, so look at that backyard. I know where this house is and there's this uh, walking path and it's really pretty by the way. But they put a deck in there, you have backyard. I can tell the grass is kind of coming up because of the trees probably. But isn't that pretty? Look, even a backyard, um, a backyard entertaining area. So this is a really nice, nice home for $579,000. Okay, there you have it. Let's, okay, let's go to another house just to give you another idea. Uh, Frisco is a hot area north of Dallas if you're thinking about moving to the Dallas area. And in Frisco, there are so many new homes being built out here that you can get for under $600,000 as well with, you know, large square footage of 4,000. Look at all these homes that are available. Let's just take a look at this one. 
So this one's listed at 585. This is North Dallas again. And there's those curved staircases you find often in these homes. Oh, it's so pretty. I like that kitchen in the fireplace. Nice wood floors, plantation shutters. So cute. Back covered patio. It's a newer home. Oh, I love these aerial footage shots. This neighborhood walking trails and ponds. Neighborhood pool. Fitness. Anyway, that also gives you an idea for North Dallas. I also want to show you another kind of house you could get here in North Fort Worth. Okay, so if you want land, you can move to Haslett, Haslett, Texas. Okay, so here's a house here. It's for 565,000, 2,920 square feet, has five bedrooms. Haslett's known to have some ranches out there with, you know, on one acre lots, typically maybe two acre. But this one has a pool. There's your aerial view. Cute little house. Very Texas style, I would say. There you have it, Texas all day long. Those stone fireplaces, nice wood floors. Kitchen with the brick backsplash. We don't find that a ton here, but it's not uncommon either. But there you have it, farm living. Oh, I like, I like this with all the windows. Although it is the master bedroom, you may want to get you some blinds. <laughs> so that's another style of what you could get here. And I may show you one more, just to be fair, closer to downtown area. Let's see what this, this is right at 600,000. I've not looked at this house yet. 2,500 square feet, 599,000, super cute. A little backyard, this is close to downtown. So maybe if you work at the hospitals or downtown, this would be a great house. I can say oh, Fort Worth ISD is not very good, but this is a really cute house. Look at that, they even have wood upstairs back entryway to the garage. So that's super cute too. But I hope that this gives you a good idea of what you can get for your money, the cost of living. Keep in mind that salaries for Fort Worth are not bad. They're pretty good here. In fact, I'll pull that up as well. If you go to Nerd Wallet, um, the cost of living. So the median salary may be $50,000. And then if I go to San Diego, then the co the median salary is 63,000. So you may have a salary cut. Some do and some don't. I've heard some people, you know, they get the same salary here in DFW as they do in California, but sometimes people say they do take a salary cut if they move out here. So do keep that in mind if you are considering the cost of living and your salary here in the Dallas Fort Worth area versus your salary in California. So Hey, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Hey, while you're here, would you click the subscribe button and then the little bell for notifications. I do release new videos weekly, at least once a week. And then you can click on one of these.